tells us how long we've been on. That's cool. That didn't happen on live. Okay, no, That's sorry. That's cool. Hi. I'm Joe Exotic, also known as the Tiger King. But you already know that. I bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Well, let me tell you a story. I was asleep in my cell, and it was dark, because I was asleep, and I had my eyes shut, so it was dark. And I was trying to get to sleep, and I was trying really hard to get to sleep, and in the end, I had to count tigers. And I got to about 50, and then I fell asleep. Anyway, when I woke up, it was dark, really dark, still dark. And I looked around, and I was in a boot. Oh, you guys called it a trunk. But Ian told me it was a boot. And I'm in the trunk of this car. And then Ian opens the trunk, and I swore, but I'm not allowed to swear, it's too early. And I was wondering where the hell I was. And Ian tells me, that we're in this town called England. So anyway, it's a bit friggin' cold here compared to where I was in Miami. It's lovely and warm there, it's like 35 degrees. Anyway, while I was in uh, penitentiary, uh, I made these mug cakes. So I thought I'd pass some time while the cops are still looking for me and make some mug cakes and show you how. It's not very hard. Uh, so if you want to have a go while you're going along, you can do it. Or I'll just demonstrate anyway, and then you can make it afterwards. And Ian says he's going to put it on his Instagram, the recipe. Anyway, not very difficult. Anyway, I have one of these that Ian gave me. So I'm going to put this on. Now, let me just take my coat off. See, the benefits of lockdown, we have lockdown in the US too. Well, some states. And uh, my hair's got long. Do you like it? Did it all myself. Anyway, so I've got this uh, nice apron. Okay, so uh, you need uh, one of these, uh, which is a blender. If you don't have a blender, then use a bowl and a stick. That's what I call it. Anyway, so you need 50 grams of self-raising flour. Has my American accent slipped? <laughs> Leave that. Uh, 50 grams of sugar. sugar. Oh, that's the sugar. It's one of them bicarb or something. No. Uh, I've got 50 grams sugar, 50 grams of self-raising flour. Um, 50 grams of butter. <laughs> I'm missing something. What am I missing, Amy? I know. <laughs> I'm doing it without my recipe, so I'm just chucking it all in. So you pop it in here. Oh, and you need an egg. Sorry, I nearly forgot the egg. I have these blue eggs. They uh, they look like crocodile eggs. So clearly not. Iron says there's no crocodiles here. So. Shove one of those in. Wait, I'm going to do a pinned comment so people that are joining know what we're doing. Well, that's a good idea. No idea what you just said there. Joe Exotic does all these mud cakes. Yeah. Penitentiary mud cakes. 
microwave, mug cakes. So you stick everything in there. Two mugs. This will make two. I'm gonna make a bit of noise now. Uh, and give it a blitz. <laughs> Doesn't need very long. There we go. All right, if you have a look, I right, got here, my man. If you have a look in here, it's quite uh, quite pasty, quite thick. So what we've got to do now is add the zest of one lime. It's going more and more English. So you add the zest of a lime. Uno line. If you haven't got one of these fancy graters, then uh, any grater will do. Just grate half half a lime. You need to grate in here. Uh, oops. About half a lime. It's not very scientific. Now these, these are coconut and lime, and we're going to add the coconut in a minute. So now what I do, uh, I've got, I should have taken this out first. Oh well, never mind. So you take this out. You don't need this now. Maybe it's really hard <laughs> to maintain an American accent. Okay. So stir this in, stir your lime zest in. And now what we do, we've got to transfer this batter, sorry, got to transfer this batter into the mugs. Let me take that off. There we go. Pop it into the bottom. This is so simple and so fast. And iron tells me that it makes really light and fluffy cakes. But in a microwave, when I make them in Miami, they're a bit dry. But Ian's giving me a trick to make them moist. Everyone likes a moist cake. So I'll show you that in a second. We're going to do the moist bit in a second. So does everyone, uh, you guys all miss me on uh, Netflix? No? I miss being on Netflix. Just playing with my tigers. Don't miss Carol though. <laughs> no one misses Carol, terrorist. Anyway. So, is that alright, Amy? It's a bit messy, isn't it? Okay, so you've made your two cakes. Now, what you do to keep it moist. Get some sugar, 25 grams of sugar, granulated sugar. Uh, you need some coconut milk, which I've already got. So you get uh, 25 millilitres of coconut milk. And stick that into the sugar. Best as you can. This gives a, a slight coconut flavour without the bits, because lots of people don't like the bits, do they? If you know what I mean by bits. It's like eating a bounty bar, you don't want it like that. So. And then you need some lime juice in there. So the, the lime that you just zested, you just cut it in half. Iron your knives, the blunt. So 
uh, take half half your lime and then you squash it. Uh -uh. Oh, it's like I know what I'm doing. There we go. No special tools needed. You just squash it in there. Just make sure you've got no pips or seeds. There you go. And now what you do, just give it a good old mix. And it should be a bit like that. So it's still quite milky, still quite loose. And you just try and don't worry about dissolving all the sugar. Just dissolve what you can. And then what you do, your two cakes, or batter should I say, sorry, batter, you pour some of this over the top. There we go. Now what will happen is when it's in the microwave, the batter will fluff up into such a lovely light cake. And you need to put it in a mug this tall because it raises, uh, so it rises, and it will reach sort of about here. So if you do it in a cup, it will overflow in your microwave, and then somebody will come and tell you off. And it doesn't want to be me. <laughs> anyway, so it will rise up, and then the coconut and lime and sugar that you poured in there, it keeps the sponge moist and then it'll have a nice little pool of it at the bottom too. And then when you eat it, oh my god, amazing. Better than looking after tigers. Anyway, so I'm going to put it in the microwave. Wait there, Amy. I'll be back. Oh, that's another joke. <coughs> I'm back. Like army. <laughs> so, you put it in the microwave. Two microwave. How do you say that in American? Microwave. Two minutes. Two, <laughs> two minutes. Do they have microwaves in America? Oh, yes, they do, Amy. They have electricity too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. They have microwaves. <laughs> yeah. I thought they had toaster ovens or something. Oh, I don't know. No, they definitely have microwaves. I have a microwave in my cell, so that's how I come out. I just live on these. They don't feed me anything else over there. They give me a bit of mail, you know, my fan mail, when you guys mail me. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, two minutes of microwave. If you, have, if you don't have a microwave, you can put the whole of this mug in your oven at 180 degrees for, for 12 minutes. And it will do exactly the same, it just instead of two minutes, takes 12 minutes. And you can do maths, and it's just like much more quicker in the microwave. Um, anyway, and this is really easy to do if you've got kids or small people. Uh, uh, it's good fun. Uh, obviously, maybe not with the blender, but anyway, if you, get, you don't need a blender, you can literally do that in a bowl with your spatula. Oh, it takes so long. It's funny how long two minutes is now, Amy. I'm waiting for it to finish. I'm only shaking. I'm going to show you one. Um, yes. Is there many people on, Amy? Uh, four. Oh, look at that. Joe Exotic's got four fans. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let me get it. Two minutes yesterday and look this has completely exploded anyway never mind anyway so well let me just get it out can you see that look at that it actually is cake if you know what i mean proper light sponge cake look anyway it doesn't look very appetizing does it but trust me 
it's coconut, limey, not too strong on both coconut or lime. And normally it stays all in the mug. Very <laughs> I spongy. Can't, I can't believe it all exploded. So maybe do one and a half minutes. But yesterday when I made them, I did it for, we did it two minutes, didn't we, Amy? Yeah. And it worked out great. So let's see what went wrong. It rose to the top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it did, Amy. Right, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you later. Joe Exotic, signing off.